Duncan or Urbank on YouTube ask, is it possible to choose which office the USCIS processes your spousal visa uh, or to transfer? I've heard testimonies of some offices processing faster than others. Uh, very good question. And unfortunately, no, you cannot choose the uh, processing center or USCIS office um, where your paperwork is sent to. It's going to be sent to one of two lock boxes, either in, in Phoenix, Arizona or Chicago, Illinois, and uh, they'll basically receive your documents and then they use a process which we refer to as load balancing. They'll try and pick out which processing center across the country has the fewest number of cases or uh, you know, a less caseload than the others. And you, you are right. Uh, you can look online at the processing centers to see their current processing times. You can check California um, and you can check um, the Eastern Processing Center and as well as in Missouri. And you'll find they all have different processing times. Dallas has different processing times. Uh, unfortunately though, those processing times, I'm not sure how current and accurate they are. Because uh, when I was going through the process with my wife, um, those numbers just were, they were way off. And uh, they're constantly switching caseloads. We get memos all the time from the USCIS that they are transferring cases from the California Processing Center uh, out to the Eastern Processing Center, vi vice versa. So to answer your question, no, you can't choose. Um, it, it, that's already, the uh, process is already set up for that. And it's um, quite possible that your case will be transferred. The good news is, as when it gets transferred, usually um, that means they'll hopefully be working on it sooner rather than later. So it's good news when you hear that they've transferred it. As in uh, my wife's case, uh, we were approved shortly after it was transferred because I believe it, it takes priority when they do that. If you found this video useful, it would mean a lot to us if you could hit the like button and comment below to let us know what you think. You can also ask your own immigration questions in the comments below. If you want to make sure not to miss any of our future videos, we invite you to subscribe here on YouTube and be sure to click the notification icon so you can be alerted whenever we publish a new video. Also, don't forget to follow us on Facebook where you can watch our regular immigration Q&A live streams.